Lacy curl shade summer poncho you will see in this video instruction. It is for 42 to 48 size of the model. We divide our work on some parts. Begin from the pattern of the model in real size. This model consists of laces and floral motifs. Then I will show you how to crochet lacy motif and motifs for crochet lace. For the poncho we need 12 crochet laces and 12 floral motifs that I show you how to make in this instruction. After that we are pinning all elements to the pattern and filling up all three places with chaotic mesh. To complete the model we crochet the trim for the bottom part. We decorate elements of the lace tape with beads in the upper part. For work you need a ball of yarn, crochet hook, pattern in real size, measuring tape, pins, scissors and needle. Let's begin the work. I will begin from the lace tape. Make a chain of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And join the chain in the round by working a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The ring is ready. Chain of 3 to bring up the yarn. Make 21 double crochet into the ring. 1, 2, 3. Let's repeat again. 4, 5, and so on till you will get 21 double crochet. I'm about to complete this round. Work a slip stitch into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn and chain more by pattern. Make double crochet into the next stitch. And I will alternate with chain and double crochet chain and double crochet chain and double crochet into the next stitch continue working in this way till the end of this round i'm about to complete this round after the last chain work a slip stitch into the third chain stitch on the beginning of this round Let's begin the next round, chain 3 to bring up the yarn, double crochet into the chain space, chain of 3, make 6 double crochet into the double crochet that we did Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Make single crochet. We skip the first stitch the second and make single crochet into the third stitch. The first small petal is ready. Chain of three, double crochet into the next chain space, 
chain of three and six double crochet into the this double crochet let's count one two three four five and six we skip one two and single crochet into the third stitch here how it looks let's repeat again chain of three double crochet into the next chain space chain of three six double crochet into the double crochet that we have just done one two three four five six we skip one two and single crochet into the third stitch the third petal is ready you should continue by yourself and in total it should be nine of them i have done nine petals and we continue working with lace tape after the last single crochet make a chain of nine insert the hook into the last chain stitch by working a slip stitch chain of three to bring up the yarn make single crochet into the chain of the previous round turn the work work into the chain space 14 double crochet stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 I have done 14 double crochet insert the hook into the petal and make single crochet chain of three and chain more in this row i will alternate with double crochet and chain continue double crochet and chain double crochet and chain so continue working this way till the end of this row i'm about to complete this row make double crochet Make single crochet into the third stitch like this chain of three turn the work 
make double crochet chain of three six double crochet into the stitch that we have just done one two three four five six we skip one two and single crochet into the third stitch the first petal of this row is ready chain of three then double crochet into the next chain space chain of three and six double crochet into the double crochet that we have just done one two three four five six we skip one two and single crochet into the third stitch we have done two petals you should crochet three more petals in total it should be five of them i have done five petals as you can see, we have done the beginning of the lace tape. Then I will crochet the next part that will repeat each time. Let's begin this part. I have done single crochet, chain of seven. Work a slip stitch into the third chain stitch. Chain three to bring up the yarn. Turn the work. Make 13 double crochet into the chain space. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen i will work with next petal insert the hook into the third chain stitch and work a single crochet then chain three to bring up the yarn and chain more turn the work i will alternate with double crochet and chain continue double crochet and chain double crochet and chain continue working in this way till the end of this row i'm about to complete this row after the chain and double crochet into the third stitch now i will be making joining I will join to this part. I take the second petal, insert the hook into the second petal and make a single crochet. Like this. Chain of three. 
tourns of work, make double crochet into the chain space. Let's begin the petal. Chain of three and six double crochet into this double crochet one, two, three, four, five and six we we'll skip one two and single crochet into the third stitch let's begin the second petal chain of three and double crochet into the next chain space chain of three and six double crochet into this double crochet one Two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, and single crochet into the third stitch. We have done two petals. We need to crochet three more. In total, it should be five of them. I have done all five petals. I have done the first part of element that I will repeat later. Let's begin the second part of the element. Chain of seven. Work a slip stitch into the third chain stitch. Chain through to bring up the yarn. Two rounds of work. Make 13 double crochet into this chain space. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Continue. Work with this petal. Work a single crochet into the third chain stitch. Like this, chain of three to bring up the yarn and chain more by pattern, turn the work. Then I will alternate with double crochet and chain. And repeat again, double crochet and chain double crochet and chain and continue working this way till the end of this row. I have done this row and the last double crochet I did into the third chain stitch on the beginning of the previous row. Now I will join I will work with the second petal, insert the hook into the third chain stitch on the beginning of this petal by working a single crochet. Chain of three, turn the work, make double crochet into the chain space. Then chain of three and six double crochet into the stitch. Let's begin the first petal. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. We skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch. Let's begin the next petal. Chain of three, double crochet into the chain space, chain of three, and six double crochet into the stitch. One, two, three, four, and six. We skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch. We have done two petals. In total it should be five of them. We need to crochet three more. I have done five petals and I am finished the second part that I will repeat. This is the second part. It is the first one. This is the back side of the first part. And this is front side of the second part. Then you should crochet by yourself. Now I'm going to begin the first part and you should crochet by yourself. Chain of seven, slip stitch into the third chain stitch, chain of three to bring up the yarn, turn the work, 13 double crochet into the chain space, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. I will join to the first petal work a single crochet into the third chain stitch. Chain three to bring up the yarn. Chain more by pattern, turn the work. And I will alternate with double crochet and chain, double crochet and chain, double crochet and chain. So continue working in this way till the end of this row. I have done the row. Now I will join to the second petal. Work a single crochet into the third chain stitch of the second petal. Chain through to bring up the yarn. Turn the work. Make double crochet, chain of three, and six double crochet into the double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And six. We skip two stitches and single crochet into the third chain stitch. The first petal is ready and I remind you we repeat the first part of the pattern. Now I show you how the lace tape looks like. Here what we have now. This is the beginning of the lace tape. I don't repeat this part. The next part I will repeat each time. This part consists of two elements. 
it is the first one and this is the second part as you can see we begin the first part of the repeat element then you should crochet the second one by yourself I finished the lace tape now I show you how to do this as you can see in the last part of the lace tape we have six petals let's finish the lace tape would we'll skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch make single crochet into the chain space and work a single crochet into the third chain stitch the lace tape is finished now I show you the lace tape and we'll measure the size of the lace tape our beautiful lace tape is ready now I measure it it is over 30 centimeters for the our beautiful poncho we need the lace tape is over for our model we need to crochet such simple floral motif let's begin the work chain of seven one two three four five six seven and join the chain in the round by working a slip stitch into the first chain stitch then in case ready chain three to bring up the yarn make 21 double crochet stitches into the ring one two three four so continue working in this way till the end of this row I have done 21 double crochet stitches and complete this row work a slip stitch into the third chain stitch the round one is made chain three to bring up the yarn then chain more by pattern I will alternate with double crochet and chain double crochet and chain continue double crochet and make a chain double crochet and make a chain so continue working in this way till the end of this row I'm about to complete this round work a slip stitch into the third chain stitch on the beginning of this round round two is ready chain to bring up the yarn and chain three more make double crochet into the chain space chain of three I will crochet six double crochet into the double crochet one two three four five six make single crochet into the third stitch of the previous round the first petal is ready chain three double crochet into the chain space continue three chains
six double crochet around the post one two three four five six we skip one two and single crochet to the third stitch we have done two petals in total it should be 11 of them I have done all 11 petals and let's complete this round work a slip stitch into the chain stitch on the beginning of this round and floral element is ready I have already cut off the yarn Before beginning the joining all elements in one beautiful model, I am making pattern of the model in real size. It is одна четвертая part of the poncho. The length from the neckline to the bottom part is 42 cm. This is the length of the model. In your cases it can be bigger or smaller. Now I'm going to measure the bottom part. The length from the corner to the center is 54 centimeters. I remind you it is part of the model. Let's measure upper part. For the neckline on the back side, I remove 2 cm. While putting and pinning motifs and laces on the pattern in real size, you can make some marks for the neckline on the front of the poncho. I have done all crochet lace tapes and floral motifs. I pinned all elements on the pattern in real size. Now I will show you how to crochet chaotic mesh. I am filling up all three places with chaotic mesh and let's begin. I am working from the bottom to the up. I insert the hook into the lace take the working loop pull it through chain of three then yarn over three times take the floral motif I'm crocheting the complex stitch insert the hook into the petal of the floral motif Take the working yarn, pull it through and pull through two loops twice, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next petal, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice and pull through two loops. Continue pull through two loops twice. The joining is ready. Continue, chain of three, yarn over twice, and treble crochet into the complex stitch, chain of three. Now I am making the complex stitch, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the same petal. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next petal, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. Then pull through two loops, one, two, three times. After we have done each complex stitch, you should look at your work. Chain of three. And 
double crochet into the same petal. Chain of two. And treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain of four. And single crochet into the next petal. Let's look at work. Here what we have. And we can continue. Now I will make the joining. For this chain of five. Yarn over three times. Insert the hook into the next petal. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the petal of the other lace tape. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Then pull through two loops. One, two, and three times. The joining is ready. Let's look at work. I turn the work. Continue chain of three. And single crochet into the next petal. Chain of three. Continue with complex stitch. For this yarn over the hook three times. I will work with these two petals. Insert the hook into the first petal. Pull up a loop. Pull through two loops. One, two. Times. Then yarn over the hook twice. Insert the hook into the next petal. Pull up a loop. Pull through two loops. Twice. Then yarn over, pull through two loops, one, two, three times. I will work with backwards direction. Turn the work. Like this. Chain. Take the lace tape. Insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Double crochet is ready. Chain of three. And treble crochet into the next chain space. Three chains. And treble crochet into the next chain space. I lost my loop. Let's repeat again. Here how the chaotic mesh looks like. And we continue working. Now two chains. And double crochet into the next chain space. Five chains, and double crochet into the next chain space. Three chains, treble crochet, let's stop. I will join to this part. Make three chains. 
yarn over three times, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next petal, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next petal, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. We have three stitches not finished, then yarn over, pull through three loops at once, then yarn over, pull through two loops twice. The joining is ready. I will crochet in this direction. If you don't like this direction, you can crochet to the up, then in backwards direction. So you should crochet the chaotic mesh in this way. I have done the chaotic mesh. Here how it looks. This is the top of the laces. I will join two laces together. For this, I will sew two laces. I take the white color of yarn, take the yarn through the needle, and now let's start sewing. With the needle, go through the stitches. With the needle, go through the stitches on the opposite side. I am working on the front side of the laces. I pull a little bit, with the needle go through the stitches along the lace. With the needle go through the stitches along the leaf or petal. Now I will work with the opposite side. With the needle go through the stitch. With the needle go through the stitches. So continue working in this way till the end of the row. As you can see I have filled up all three places with chaotic mesh. The upper part of the poncho I sew one together. I continued the work and as you can see, I fill it up all three places with chaotic mesh, separate elements. Also, I crochet the chaotic mesh around the separate elements. To finish the model, we need to crochet trim around the poncho. I have done the first round of double crochet stitches after the chaotic mesh and two more rounds with pattern. Now I show you how to crochet such trim. Let's begin the trim. The first row of the trim is ready. It is 
a round of double crochet stitches I made multiples 15 stitches chain to bring up the yarn turn the work and let's make next row yarn over twice make three treble crochet we skip one two three and three treble crochet into the four stitch Make two treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain of nine. I have done nine chains. Yarn over twice to work with treble crochet. We skip one, two, three, four, and work with fifth stitch. Make treble crochet. Make three treble crochet into the next stitch. Then single crochet into the four stitch. I skip three stitches one, two, three, and single crochet into the fourth one. We have done the pattern. I will repeat this pattern. Make three treble crochet. We skip one, two, three, and three treble crochet into the four stitch. Then treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain of nine, yarn over twice. We skip one, two, three, four, and work into the fifths. Make treble crochet. Make three treble crochet into the next stitch. Make three treble crochet into the fourth stitch. We skip one, two, three, and single crochet. Let's repeat one more time. We skip one, two, three, make treble crochet into the fourth, make three treble crochet,
make treble crochet into the next stitch chain of nine We skip one, two, three, four, and work into the fifths. Make treble crochet and three treble crochet into the next stitch. We skip two stitches and work a single crochet into the third chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Let's begin row three. Chain to bring up the yarn, two rows of work, make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. Make single crochet into the nine chain space, three chains, and double crochet into the same chain space. Chain of three. Work into the double crochet stitch. Six double crochet into this stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then single crochet into the chain space. The first petal is ready. Chain of three. Double crochet into the chain space, chain of three, and six double crochet around this stitch. One, two, three, four. five and six and single crochet into the chain space the second petal is ready and make the third one chain of three then double crochet chain of three and six double crochet around the stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. single crochet into the chain space. The three petals are ready. Make single crochet into the each of next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Then we see single crochet, we skip this stitch and work with next one. Make four single crochet in a row. One, two, three, and four. 
and single crochet into the chain space. Let's repeat again. Chain of three. Then double crochet into the chain space, chain of three. And double crochet six times into the double crochet. single crochet into the same chain space. The first one is made, chain of three, double crochet, repeat again chain of three, six double crochet around the stitch, single crochet into the same chain space. Let's repeat one more time, chain of three, double crochet, chain of three, and six double crochet. single crochet into the same chain space. Let's repeat pattern one more time for single crochet in a row. Then we skip the middle single crochet and work with next four stitches. Make single crochet, then single crochet into the chain space and you should crochet three more petals on this chain space. I have done the row, I have done three petals, now we need to complete this row for single crochet. Make single crochet into the chain stitch at the beginning of this round. The work is ready. Here how trim looks like. You should crochet in rounds. The first round of the trim is double crochet stitches. The number of chains multiples. 15 stitches, then you should crochet two more rounds. Today we have learned how to crochet summer poncho, the size of the model 42 to 46, 42 to 48. Thanks for watching.